Hey everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Savvy Forensics. So this is the fourth part of the identification of bodily fluids, which is blood. And in this video, we'll be discussing about the confirmatory assays, which are usually carried out for the identification of blood. In the previous videos, we have looked about the preliminary identification of blood as well as uh, there are some cases where uh, we can encounter a false positive and false negative results. We have also discussed that cases and how to resolve that cases. So if you haven't watched that videos, please, please do have a look at that videos and then you'll be able to understand the further concepts more clearly. Moving on to this video. Uh, now we have preliminary identified a stain to be a blood. But it is just a preliminary identification and we have to have a solid reason that this particular stain is blood. So for this, we carry out confirmatory test. Therefore, as the name suggests, confirmatory test. Let's split this term into two words, confirm and atri. Now, what you understand by confirm is uh, that we are confirming that particular stain is blood. In this case, in a very simple language, we can say that confirmatory test are the final tests that are being carried out on the um, particular biological fluid to confirm its identity. They, they give a confirmation that this particular biological fluid is what we are expecting it to be. Now, the confirmatory tests are also called the microcrystal assays. Why so? So, microcrystal assays, as the name suggests, micro means microscopic and crystals. Now, the products that are obtained after carrying out these tests, they are usually uh, crystals which are microscopic in nature. So, we have to carry out the examination after putting the reagents. We have to carry out the examination under a microscope and we have to look for the crystals. Now, there are basically two types of microcrystal assays or the confirmatory test of blood. The first one is the hemochromogen crystal assay and the second is the hematin crystal assay. Hemochromogen crystal assay is also called Takayama test. So you have to remember this name as it is very important and many times it is asked directly in the exams and there there is a lot of confusion between the Takayama and the Tikma. Uh, in, you must have read completely for the exam but uh, you get confused during answering the objective type questions because both of these options will be given in that particular objective. So clearly remember that hem hemochromogen crystal assay is also called Takayama test while the hematin crystal assay is also called Tikman test. They are basically uh, the names of the scientist who discovered this test. So let's move further and learn about hemochromogen crystal assay. Again, let's understand the term hemo. Here, hemo means heme and chroma. Chromogen. Chroma means color. So, the product which we are getting in this test, it is a heme derivative crystal which imparts a certain color. What color it imparts? Let's learn. As already told, hemochromogen crystal S test is also called the Takayama test. It was basically described in 1912 by Masio Takayama. Remember this name of the scientist. It is very important. What is usually done in the test? So the suspected blood stain, not the blood stain, the suspected, suspected blood stain, it is treated with pyridine. These are the reagents, pyridine and glucose, which is a reducing sugar. And uh, this test is carried out in alkaline conditions to form crystals of pyridine ferroprotoporphyrin. Now, what is, if you have watched my previous videos, you must be familiar with this term. Please do let me know what is this ferroprotoporphyrin in the comment section below. So, as a product, we will get pyridine ferroprotoporphyrin crystal. You can see its molecular structure here. So, basically, this whole structure is in the form of crystal is obtained. And these crystals are usually um, identified under a microscope. Let's move further. So here you can clearly understand that uh, this is a microscopic view of the results of the microcrystal test of Takayama. You can see here that we are getting needle shaped crystals. This very clear results of uh, Takayama test are usually observed if the uh, uh, particular steps and particular reagents are used in required amount, you will get clear results and you will be able to distingu distinguish it that this particular stain is blood. So you have to remember the name 
ताकि हमारा टेस्ट ईल्स पिंक नीडल शेप्ड क्रिस्टल्स ऑफ हीमोक्रोमोजन हीमोक्रोमोजन व्हिच इज कॉल्ड पेरिडीन फेरोप्रोटोपोरफायरिन दिस इज अ मोर मैग्नीफाइड इमेज ऑफ द क्रिस्टल्स दैट आर बीइंग ऑब्टेंड यू कैन सी हियर दीस आर ऑल नीडल शेप्ड क्रिस्टल्स सो द नेक्स्ट टेस्ट इज द हिमाटिन क्रिस्टल एसे एज ऑलरेडी टोल्ड हिमाटिन क्रिस्टल एसे इज आल्सो कॉल्ड टीकमार टेस्ट नाउ व्हाट इज दिस हिमाटिन वी गेट हिमाटिन क्रिस्टल्स ऑफ हीम let's see how so when the blood suspected blood specimens are treated with glacial acetic acid now you have to distinguish between the hemochromogen and the hematin crystal assay then only you will be able to remember the test so in the differentiating order the hemochromogen crystal test are usually carried out in alkaline conditions as told earlier this is usually carried out in alkaline conditions right but the hematin crystal assay is carried out in the acidic condition with the salts and subsequently it is heated and hematin chloride now what kind of salts are used usually potassium kbr potassium iodide metal halides are used basically uh, hematin chloride in case if the uh, particular halide was used as a chloride so you'll get the results as a hematin chloride crystal you have to remember its molecular name which is ferriprotoporphyrin chloride this is important it is a prismatic brown colored crystal which is formed now you can see here the molecular structure of ferriprotoporphyrin chloride the r which is here it is for chloride so this is a hematin crystal these are the actual images under a microscope these tests are also very, seen very clearly you can see brown rhombohedron crystals clearly in under a microscope under 40 uh, 40x 200x in 100x it will be clearly visible you have to remember the color also the brown color crystals is for tikman and the pink color crystals is for takayama test so this was all about this video i hope that you all have understood the confirmatory essays of the blood if you have any kind of doubt you can share in the comment section below also i need the answer to the asked question in the video so please do provide provide me with the answers in the next video we'll be discussing about species identification through biological fluid that is blood so the next video is going to be very interesting i want you all to please uh, go through the video series up till now so that you can clearly understand what we are going or to learn about in the upcoming videos i hope that you all like this video please share it with your friends and spread the knowledge of forensics and subscribe to this channel for regular updates thank you very much for joining stay tuned